Good morning, McBeck. It's good to see you. And it's really great that uh, even though we're meeting under odd circumstances with the uh, kind of lockdown with the coronavirus, that we are able to meet in this way. Technology really is a blessing that in spite of our inability to be together in physical proximity, we can still connect in this way. You know, Jesus had a knack for cutting through complexity and making things really simple. When a religious leader came and asked him, what's the greatest commandment? Jesus said, love God with everything you have and love your neighbor as yourself. And I think in these days when we're surrounded with all kinds of news from people in our media and when all kinds of thoughts are going through our minds, I think simplicity in the midst of complexity is especially good. So what's it look like for us to love God with all of our heart? I find that it's easy to forget about God when there's a lot of things going on in my life. Sure, I don't forget that he exists, and I'll say things like God is in control, but in the midst of a crisis when everything's kind of flying around, it's easy to kind of push God to the margins. You know, during creation, God established Sabbath as a day for rest, a day for rest, rejuvenation, and reconnection with him. And as our staff met last week to talk about how we might walk through this season as a church staff, uh, we kind of landed on that idea of Sabbath. And we said, what if we were to look at this period of time and with things that are kind of disjointed and abnormal as kind of a Sabbath, a time for rest, rejuvenation, and reconnecting with God? That's why we've decided to, to pursue a laid-back approach to our Sunday morning service and are focusing on daily devotionals that seek to resource us as we walk through this unique season. And we hope that you and your family, or if you're a single person in the community that you're a part of, will, will walk with us through this on this journey. Jesus also said to love your neighbor as yourself. That was the second part of his answer. One of our staff members reminded us this week that distance doesn't equal isolation. That really struck me as significant because I think during this time, it's especially, it's especially important that we find ways to stay connected. First of all, with people that we normally come in contact with, our staff is trying to be systematic in people that we reach out to throughout the church, particularly those in need. But I would encourage all of you, when you um, the people that you normally connect with in your circle, your spheres of influence, to make sure you're connecting with them during this season. And I would also encourage you maybe to think of one person in the church, maybe you don't know that well, who's maybe an elderly person or a person with a need or, or a person that you don't normally come in contact with that you might reach out to as well. I think there's opportunities for us to stay connected and love our neighbors within McBick in that way. Through this season, I want to encourage you to go to our website, mcbickdaily.com. And uh, you'll find all kinds of various resources there, including daily devotionals that we'll be putting together uh, throughout these weeks.